today I'm going to be showing you how I make a crochet freeze pop sleeve. I do have a pattern on my blog that's free. You can find it in the list and description and there's also a pop up here in the corner and you can find all other information that is needed to complete this pattern on your own. So let's get started. To start the pattern you're going to make a foundation chain of 14 and then we're going to join that in the round using a slip stitch being sure not to twist the stitches. Round one is going to start with a chain one, which I've already done, and we're going to be single crocheting into the back bump of each of the chains. So we're going to do one single crochet into the back bump of each chain until we get to the end or back to the beginning since we are crocheting in the round. Once you get to the end, you're going to join in the round using a slip stitch. And then we're ready to start round two, which is going to start with a chain one. And then we're going to single crochet into the back loop. This is the back loop here. And we're going to do one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch until we get to the end and back to the beginning. When you get to the end of round one, we're going to join in the round using a slip stitch. And then for round two, we're going to be repeating round one. So we're going to do a chain one to start and then single crochet into the back loop of each stitch until you get back to the beginning. Round three is another repeat of round one. So it starts with a chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop of each stitch until we get back to the beginning. Now this is round four. I'm going to start with a chain one and then single crochet into each stitch around until I get back to the beginning. Round four makes up the body of the freeze pop and is going to be repeated for rounds four through 12 if you're following along in my pattern. But you can also do the single crochets in um, until you reach your desired length. But if you're following along in my pattern, we're going to do our last round of single crochets as round 12, which I'm doing here now and then I'm gonna join in the round using a slip stitch. Now we're gonna be creating the top portion of the freeze pop, which is gonna look just like the bottom portion. So we're gonna be starting with a chain one, and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop of each stitch, and this is going to be repeated for rounds 13, 14, and 15. This is the um, last part of round 15 and I'm going to do my last uh, couple of single crochets and then join in the round using a slip stitch. And then I'm going to trim my yarn and weave in my yarn tails. I like to finish the top of my freeze pop sleeve with an invisible join. I do do a slip stitch to join the rounds when I do this and I do a duplicate stitch over that very first stitch. And so I'm just gonna use the blunt tip of my yarn needle and I'm gonna just kinda copy the top of that stitch from the first one and it, for me this works pretty well to keep everything looking seamless. And then I'm gonna weave in my yarn tails. I'm gonna inside out my work and weave in on the inside. I'm gonna just kinda weave in to the middle from the top and the bottom and then I'll tie in a few knots and trim my yarn tails off close. Now to finish off my freeze pop sleeve, I'm going to add a vegan suede tag. This is one of my little sun ones, as I call it, the happy smiley sun. And they are available in my Etsy shop. I have them in different colors and also in natural uh, suede color options as well. I also designed some printables that go with these, just letting people know what these tubes are, that they're freeze pop sleeves. The, um, printables have or that little inserts have little information at the bottom that talks about the purpose of a freeze pop sleeve to help keep your hands um, not from, from not getting cold and wet while enjoying a freeze pop. I do have more information in the video description that has a link to where you can find the free printable, the vegan suede tags, and the written pattern. Um, this is just the video showing you how I make them using all that information. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.